Hello everyone and welcome back to our Occult Baby Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 where we're supposed to have two babies which each of the occult or magical creatures in The Sims. So we're gonna hop right in today because today is an exciting day because it's makeover day. That's right. Today we're be going to be giving a makeover to our two wizard kids who we just raised up from toddlers to children and we also have Father Christmas's two children who we just aged up into toddlers. So we're first we're going to go into build mode and we're going to redo some rooms for our wizard children. So they had the toddler room downstairs for a while. It looks like I don't have the windows for this house that I got off the gallery so we'll just pop some windows in here. I like these. They look kind of magical, even though I think they're from the um, Strangerville pack, but they still look pretty cool. I like them a lot. Let's give this other room a window too while we're at it. For some reason, Santa likes sleeping in here. And you can see he looks very sad. That's because, yeah, we just broke his heart. So my bad, honestly, didn't mean to. So let's just go ahead and get rid of all this stuff in here. So I'm thinking since we have so many rooms upstairs, we have like four bedrooms up here and we only have two kids at the moment because the toddlers are downstairs. We'll give Hermione and Neville each their own room and that way they can kind of have their own space and their own personality. I kind of like the um, space theme in this room. I feel like that could be cool for Hermione. She seems like she might be a little into you know, space, and they are, they are magic, which I feel like, you know, stars and stuff, magic, right? Sure, that works. Let's put something fun on the walls. I actually have a cool um, custom wallpaper in here. So for this, I'm gonna be using some of the magic stuff that, from The Sims, but also some of the Pufferhead stuff pack. And so they have a cool wallpaper that looks like stars. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the walls here. There we go, beautiful. I'm wondering if I should have one a different color or should I just give them both stars? I'll give them both stars. I'll just give them an extra window so it's a little bit brighter in here. Now I'm gonna give them some curtains. They have cool curtains with the magic stuff pack that'll look good with these, so let's grab those out. These are very, yeah, these are very large though. That's gonna be a problem. Well, that's okay, they'll work okay. All right, so I think this, I like this teal color. I'm thinking that will be Neville's room and then Hermione's room is going to be on the one, the one on the right, excuse me. So we have these two beds that come with the magic pack, but I think actually I'm just going to take the beds from the pufferhead pack instead. I think I'll just take everything that was down in their room up here first and see how it looks. So the moons, I think Hermione's going to keep. Um, the bookshelves will give to Hermione. Not that, actually, I don't know if she's that much of a reader. Well, I guess so far she's only been a toddler, so how do we know she's a reader or not? She can't even read. I think so far she might be a little bit more playful than studious, but then again, she was just a toddler, so who knows. We'll give her the bookshelves. Neville can use them too, since their rooms are right next door. And we'll give them each one of their little end tables. That one has a cool little floating crystal on it. We'll give that one to Hermione. And this one has books and candy. We'll give this one to Neville. We'll give this red one to Neville. I don't know if he's actually going to be a Gryffindor or not. He has a little Gryffindor scarf on this. So what I'm thinking for our wizard kids, I'm thinking, so for each of the magical creatures, I can't call them magical creatures because they're not creatures, they're sims. For each of the magical sims, I want to have a kind of a special event for them or a party or something before they age up into young adults and move out. I'm thinking we'll start off with the magical kids. And what I want to do for them is do a sorting ceremony. So for anyone who likes Harry Potter, I want to bring them to Hogwarts and we'll go ahead and sort them into one of the houses. We'll do it based on the Pufferhead pack houses. So we'll have a video where we go through those and go through the custom content pack and yeah, figure out which house Hermione and Neville belong in. And then maybe um, once they turn into young adults, we'll move them out into Hogwarts. So that way, if we want to come back at some point and have them do some magical schooling, we can do that. And I'll show you guys Hogwarts in one of the other builds. Honestly, it's an, it's amazing. Yeah, that's where you'll take everything out of this room, except for the disgusting potties and water all over the ground, which unfortunately I cannot remove in build mode. All right, we'll give Hermione the Hogwarts banner. 
And then once we sort them into their houses, we can give them each their own banner. So I'm thinking that'll happen when we age them up into teenagers. We'll form a big birthday party. We have to go have them meet their extended family members because they do have a grandma and I think two aunts um, that are related to Daryl. So we'll go meet their extended family members, have a big party, get them sorted into their Hogwarts houses, have a huge party at Hogwarts, and it's gonna be super fun. So I'm excited about that. Oh, we'll give Neville the bird cage. He might be more into plants, I don't know. It's kind of too early to tell. So when we age them up, Hermione's self-confident and Neville's a geek. So Neville might actually be a little bit more into the reading and stuff. We'll have to keep an eye on them now that they're kids to kind of see how their personalities develop and who they turn into. So we'll get rid of the mobiles as well. They're kids now, they don't need those. We'll get Neville some herbs for fun, for the plants, just in case he does turn out to be like Neville from the books. And then we'll just clean out this room so that's ready for our Santa twins. This is the Pufferhead stuff pack. As you can see, there's a bunch of beds. So there's toddler's beds, there's single beds, and there's also double beds. So they all have different frames and then mattresses that are separate. So let, we'll just use the classic brown frames. That works. That looks pretty nice with the wood from the other pack, actually. I hate how none of the woods match. It's very, very difficult when you're trying to make a nice room here, but it looks pretty good. And then for the mattresses, where are they? Where is single mattresses? This is, all right, we'll also have to give them this. It's not gonna fit in their rooms, but this is essentially the chemistry set for kids, but it's wizard colored, I guess. So we'll give them one of those so they can come out and play on that. Ooh, and we have a magic removable floor, so that's fun. Lots of witchy stuff going on these days. But yeah, there's a lot of other toys and stuff. We might scatter some of these around the house as well so they can go play. Ooh, and this. We need one of these. So this, I think, is built off the card table, and it's called Hard Knocks Battle. So there's a castle, and there's little ponds, and there's cards, and the kids can come and play on it. I think it gives them the mental skill, so we're gonna have to put one of these downstairs as well. Nice, all right, that's a good spot for it, right in the playroom. We'll match the chairs. Beautiful, I like it. We're gonna have to get another light in here. So we could match the wallpaper. I feel like that's a little bit too much stars, though. So we might want to change it up a little bit, and the pillows now don't fit on the beds. Unfortunately, goodbye pillows. So I'm thinking maybe a plaid for Neville, that could look good. Oh, that actually looks really good, the curtains. Okay, perfect. And then for Hermione, she had this pattern of Ron and Neville, and no, not Ron and Neville, Ron and Harry and Hermione when she was a toddler. So I'm thinking maybe let's keep that for her. Ah, oh, so cute. All right, this is also looking pretty good. So they both have a little cute reading area. Ah, oh, I love it. And now it's on to our Christmas toddlers. All right, so they're taking over this big toddler room on the ground floor. Let's move all their nutcrackers and other things in their bedroom there. And for them, so we'll, see, we'll use some of the holiday stuff. I'm not sure kind of what theme I want to do for their room yet. I was thinking either if it should be like a Christmas, like strict red and green theme, or if it should be more of like a winter wonderland, maybe like a blue and white theme. Um, well, let's just change up the walls and the floor here. I like having them white. Actually, I fell into a YouTube hole the other day just watching videos, and I watched this really interesting video about Elf and how they filmed, um, you know, the one with Buddy the Elf and all that, and how they filmed that and set up the scenes. And they said in that movie, or in that video, they were talking about Frosty the Snowman, like the old animated one and Rudolph, all those old claymation ones. And they said they did it so the scenes were just white so that the characters would really pop against the background. So that's how they did Rudolph, that's how they did Elf. And that's actually my inspiration for this room as well. Cause I figure if we just keep the walls kind of neutral, um, kind of have more of a white accent, that way we can make our toddlers really cute, give them really colorful outfits and they'll stand out against the background. So I think that's really cute. We move their fireplace in here. We're going for kind of an outdoors theme, I guess, as well. So we have that couch with the um, woods on it. And then I gave him this cute two little toddler chairs, one of a polar bear, one of a brown bear. I figure those are both kind of wintry, wintry animals. So that works. Ooh, so many cool things. We have to give him some presents. We'll have to give him some garlands. I really like these garlands. Those are fancy. We'll just put a bunch of these in here. Actually, yeah, we'll move these over and then we'll give him an extra window. So that way they have a whole bunch of garland all over the place. Perfect. We'll give them some snowflakes. Unfortunately, it's spring now that they've aged up, but you know, that's okay. 
We're gonna have to do like a Christmas in July for them later or something like that. They were born in winter, but by the time they age up, it's gonna be, I think, probably summer or fall. This is cute. We can put that over the beds. All right, so now I'm just throwing out a little bit of everything. We got stars, we got reindeer, we got wall stars, we got presents, we got miniature trees and bottles. But overall, I think it's coming together pretty well. It did end up being a lot of red and green, but that's okay. I like our little fireplace over there. Honestly, is it a fire hazard to put a fireplace in a room for a toddler? I feel like it might be. Oh, I love this little sign. It looks so cute and homemade with the little snowman on it. And yeah, let's put some candles in here. It's kind of dark. Is it a fire hazard to put candles in a room for a toddler? I feel like it is. Don't try this at home. They need a Christmas wreath, obviously. I love that wreath, actually. I never use it, but it looks good. Oh, and there's little snowflakes we could put on the window. You see, even though it's not winter, they'll think it's snowing. All right, this bed placement isn't really working. I want to move their tree in here, but there's not really space. Oh, I like this. All right, so how about I remove one of these to the other side of the couch so they'll kind of like stand guard. I figure I give, I give them the pairs of nutcrackers so that way I figure one twin can have the blue nutcrackers, the other twin can have the red nutcrackers. It'll be adorable. We'll group the nutcrackers kind of by the presents. Unfortunately, we still have a puddle of pee on the floor, but you know, can't do anything about that, so that's just too bad. I actually like these beds better, I think. I feel like they look very like wintry, like you're in a snow lodge or something, or a ski lodge. And that's our toddler room. So let's jump into Cass. So here's Neville. I don't love his hair. I feel like his hair should be a little more carefree. So maybe something like that or something. Oh, I like that one a lot. That one's cool. So he's definitely magic. He's throwing out spells left and right. But kids can't actually use magic. All right, so does since he's a wizard, does the wizard pack actually have Realm of Magic? They don't have any clothes for kids, it looks like, no. All right, that's fine. We'll just have to find him a different top. And now all of the girl stuff is in there as well. Perfect. Let's start with some pants. That's easy. I feel like Neville's been really playful so far. So that's good. Some pants with some knee patches that he won't rip. And yeah, we'll just give him some boots so he can run around. And then I think let's kind of mimic I want them to be kind of Harry Potter-esque. So let's just give him a nice little sweater and button down. And there we go, so cute. He looks like little Harry Potter heading off to Hogwarts, only without the glasses or the lightning scar. Ooh, I wonder if there's CC where I could get a lightning scar. If anyone knows where there's CC with a lightning scar, let me know below. I'm gonna pop a wizard hat on every one of his looks, even his pajamas, because that's what you do when you're a wizard sim. You wear your wizard hat to bed. So now we're on to his cold weather look. I do have a puffer head shirt for kids. Is this one here with the scarf? So I'm thinking maybe let's do that for his cold weather look. That's pretty cute. Again, we don't know if he's a Gryffindor, but it looks cute for now. So until we sort him into his house, he can wear that. And then I think there's also a really cute, yeah, there's also this really cute t-shirt with the puffer head pack that has all these different little wizard characters on it. Oh, that's super cute. Wait, is that Henry Henry Puffer riding a llama? Oh my gosh. Can you get cuter than that? I do not think so. All right, perfect summer look. Swimwear, we're not really going swimming, doesn't matter. Party look, pretty cute. Use the same t-shirt. Formal, actually his top's really cute. Let's just give him some pants um, since he's not island sim. And there we go. Now on to Hermione. I don't love Hermione's hair. I feel like her hair as a toddler was really wild and a little bit more brown. So I'm thinking I might put it back to that. Um, yeah, a little bit browner and then something a little bit wilder. I feel like we've gotten a lot more hairstyles for girls recently, which is awesome. Okay, that one. I like that one. That seems pretty wild and what she looked like as a toddler. I think Hermione to me, it seems like she's wearing a lot of purple. So maybe we'll keep some of the purple wizard hats for her. And then for an outfit, I think I'm just gonna mimic her brother's outfit honestly and do kind of a skirt. And then as a top, do kind of a button down or a sweater blouse situation. And yeah, the black one's the best. I actually do love her little boots. Oh, and they have purple boots. Oh, that's so cute. They match her little hat. I feel like Hermione, so far she doesn't seem particularly studious. She seems a little wild. So I love it. We'll give her some purple boots. We'll give her some little knee socks with bows on them to match. 
Very cute. And for pajamas, let's give her the same shirt that her brother had. Ooh, I like this one. Like a flying magical bus. That one's super cool. And then we'll just give her some sweatpants to go along with that. Do they have anything that's purple? Ah, here we go. All right, purple sweatpants. Beautiful. And then it's her party look, very similar to her everyday look. I would love, I love the boots and the skirt look, so you know, we'll keep that for her. Oh, I kind of like the white jeans. Those are cute. And then I'm thinking we give her the puffer head scarf and sweater. Oh, and it's purple. Perfect. Like I said, she's not necessarily a Ravenclaw, just for now. I think it looks cute. And she's also definitely a witch. All right, and then on to our Christmas twins, the last of our makeovers for this video. Noelle, we'll give her a little red outfit. Red and green, I'm thinking we'll do for them. There's a lot of red and green, so this is gonna be a little challenging. Actually, I really like this little dress. Never mind, it's not challenging. I found it, it's perfect. Let's put little eyelashes on at her. I feel like that just makes them so much cuter. Yeah, I like this holiday dress better. And I wanna change up her hair, because her hair has those blue bows on it, and it just doesn't match the rest of her outfit. But all of the blonde hair apparently has blue on it. So we're going with pigtails. Oh wait, this dress looks like candy cane. So I feel like Noelle, so Noelle's clingy, right? She just aged up so we don't really know what she's like, but I definitely feel like she's gonna be a little bit of a daddy's girl. Like her and Father Christmas are already super close. For her sleep, we'll give her this little red dress and then oh, some little green socks. There we go, so she's full on decked down in Christmas colors. And for her party look, oh, we'll give her that dress, sure. Maybe something a little fancier, some white tights, some red shoes, like she's going off to see a Nutcracker ballet or something like that. And for her cold weather look, she's already wearing this cute little dress, but let's just put in one of the more Christmassy colors. Oh, the red plaid, it'll match her little bed. Now on to Nick. So let's actually just take a sweater off first to see how cute he is. Aw, he's a cutie pie. I feel like they both take after their dad a lot. They both have very like round not, not even around, like wide heads. So it'll be interesting to see when they age up. I don't think I've ever seen a toddler with that wide of a head before. So hopefully they look normal. I don't feel like Father Christmas really had that weird looking of a head, but I don't know. Apparently he passed it on to his kids. Oh my God, we can make him an elf. No, I want him to be cute. I don't want him to be weird looking. Oh, look at this little, little red suit. All right, very cute for Nick. I feel like Nick is going to be like Father Christmas Jr. Like he's already very sweet, he's gonna, he's a charmer, so he's gonna be very charming. And people won't know what hit them when they talk to Nick, he'll just charm them. And it's going to be adorable. And who wouldn't, who wouldn't be charmed by this? His little green pajamas and his red slippers. Party wear, this is kind of wild, it's party wear. Oh, we could even make it more wild and also Christmassy and just go full on elf. I kind of like the idea, honestly. Not for every day, but you know, once in a while, he can be kind of a crazy elf. And then for cold weather, um, maybe we'll just give him these little old man overalls. I feel like this makes him look like a little old man. It's so cute. Here's each of the kids. We'll start off with Hermione. So this is her day-to-day -day look, very playful and fun, still appropriate for school. Her formal look, athletic, sleep, party, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather looks. She has a lot of purple, very fun. And then Neville is a little more serious. He has a black hat, his everyday look, formal look, athletic. He likes his hats, even for athletic. Party look, kind of cute. Um, he, yeah, he definitely wears a lot more black than his sister does. And here's our little Noelle. So her normal day, her everyday peppermint look, formal Christmas look, sleep, Party, gave her an elf hat too, so her and her brother would match. And gave her a little hat as well for the cold weather, so she could stay nice and warm in the North Pole. For Nick, here's his everyday outfit. Looks like Santa Claus Jr. Sleep, his party, full on elf look. Swimwear, hot weather, and his cold weather with his little hat as well. So I'm gonna leave it here for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the makeover, bye. Thank you.